Hello everyone, um, I did this uh, video on uh, how to build cafe, pie cafe method just 10 a while ago and um, recently I've been receiving messages uh, that people were having trouble uh, compiling these softwares um, and uh, they were having some issues so instead of replying individually to each of, uh, of uh, you I thought it would be good if I can do another video and make sure that uh, I answer all your questions uh, so when you're trying to compile uh, some software it's it's always uh, necessary to you make sure that all the uh, prerequisites or all the requirements mentioned on the web page to build the software are met correctly if for example we go to cafe uh, windows tree uh, web page and read through the uh, requirements we need uh, Visual Studio 2013 and fi or 15. So you can go to Microsoft uh, Visual Studio web page, downloads web page, and you'll see that the current version is 2017. So if, because we need 2015, you can go and download the older versions, and where you can download the 2015 version. So the second uh, requirement is you need CMake uh, 3.4 or above. Uh, I have got uh, version 3.7.2, uh, uh, so it's uh, uh, if you've got uh, any CMake version above 3.4, or if you want to install the latest version, you can install it. Um, make sure that it's above 3.4. Uh, for python you will need anaconda uh, with python 2.7 or 3.5 uh, so if you go to anaconda website you'll see that the latest version they have got is 4.4 which comes with python 3.6 so the best way is that you can go into the uh, anaconda archive and i've got uh, which uh, anaconda 3 version 4.2 for windows which comes with um, python 3.5 so um, you can download and install uh, this uh, particular version of uh, Anaconda, which is 4.2. Uh, and let's go ahead. Um, so then if you would like to compile it from MATLAB, uh, it's uh, up to you. Uh, it's your choice. Uh, if you have MATLAB, you can compile it from MATLAB as well. For CUDA, uh, I've got CUDA 8. Um, and because we have got Visual Studio 2015, so I'll be compiling it with CUDA 8. So you can just go to CUDA Downloads, uh, NVIDIA CUDA Downloads web page and download uh, CUDA 8. And then we have got CUDA NN5. Uh, so you can go to CUDA NN um, uh, Downloads page. If you click on download, you need to sign up. Once you sign in, then you can just go to and uh, agree to terms and conditions and download the Windows uh, and version 5.1 for Windows 10. So once you have downloaded all the softwares, you need to uh, just install of all of them: Anaconda, CUDA, uh, and uh, and Visual Studio, uh, etc. So once you have for for CUDA, if you are running uh, compiling it uh, for GPU as well. If you don't, if you're not, do not have a GPU, you do not need to install CUDA or CUDA NN. But if you're trying to compile it for GPU, so then you need to extract the CUDA NN folder, and you need to go to your program files, uh, NVIDIA GPU toolkit, CUDA version eight, and then copy from bin folder. Uh, To, uh, program files nvidia gpu you'll get cuda version 8 uh, bin and then in copy the include file into the include folder uh, and also copy the lib for so lib x64 to lib and 64 okay uh, so yeah, once you have done that, uh, you are all set to uh, uh, to install uh, to compile cafe. So 
there are two versions uh, two two ways so you can download the uh, repository directly as zip file but i would recommend you to, that you uh, download and install uh, gate for windows and then go to your downloads folder and follow the commands so you can just let's uh, copy this So if you press shift and right click you can open command window here and let's paste it here so we're going to clone the cafe website we have done that we can the cafe and then we need to check out for the windows tree so after this we need to run scripts bin uh, build bin cmd but we need to edit this as well uh, before we run so we go to scripts build uh, win stop that okay so i mean i've got uh, i haven't got ninja so i'm going uh, so i'm going to set it to zero but if you want to compile it for ninja then you can set it to one um, CPU only uh, for those who are not going to compile it for GPU can leave it as it is but in my case I'm compiling it for GPU as well so I'm going to set it to zero and uh, let's go through these versions so I've got Python version 3 instead of 2 uh, I'm going to build it for uh, Python Python layer as well build for MATLAB as well and and test equal to 1 okay. so CUDA root I uh, here the path is in, uh, incorrect I've got, I've got anaconda installed in my ram files directory so I'm going to add uh, I need to change only here And um, it here as well. Okay, there was a if condition. But anyway, uh, I'm going to change it everywhere. So um, it's for GPU as well. So Python version three. But Build it for MATLAB as well, and okay. Um, so we need to set up more things here as well. So Python layered MATLAB and we need to add CUDA and then root as well here our CUDA and then root was different NVIDIA GPU toolkit version and CUDA version 8.5 uh, so and Before you run this make sure that uh, CMake and Python are in your uh, in your uh, in your system just make sure by typing in CMake um, and it will just come up otherwise it will tell you that there is no uh, command as CMake so you can do this when you're trying to, when you're installing CMake you can uh, you can check the option to add it to system path so it will automatically add it Similarly, for Python, when you are installing Anaconda, you can uh, set the uh, set the option uh, to add Python as your I've got Python 3.5 um, 4.2. Okay. 
So let's go back to uh, Windows CMD. I think we have set everything up. Um, and so we are going to run this command now here. I'd like to check uh, a few things first. Configuring is done and now it's uh, going to build it. Okay, it took about um, 16 minutes on my machine to compile the whole thing. Uh, so let's go back to uh, uh, the cafe folder and if we go to build uh, tools release and you'll see that the previous time we had to add path for all the dlls but this time uh, it seems like they have uh, changed it and all the dlls have been copied to the, the same folder release uh, to the release folder so you just command window here and if you do cafe help you'll see that it's installed so you, you can run cafe uh, using command line here so to set it up for python uh, let's see how we can do this so first of all uh, i think we'll need to run it as administrator and we need to Install a few things. So go up, and then we need to. Oh. We close this. There it is. And okay, so once it's done, okay, once all these packages are installed, uh, we can go back and we can go back to first of all cafe folder and here we can see that in cafe python and copy copy the contents of this folder to site packages we just copy the contents of this folder into Anaconda, it's in lib, side packages, and just paste it here. Okay, so now if we go back and just type Python here and import, have any problem. so let's go to the next step so if you want to do matlab um, so you just go to matlab and turn cafe to rentas but before that i think i need to download some models so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download this run this part uh, run this small code in cafe download uh, model and bvlc model and once it's downloaded then we can go to matlab and run a test run okay okay so now it's done we can go to matlab and if we go to cafe and matlab and demo let's do the demo and what we need to do is we need to do on this part and then we just need to do this 
okay go back and in cafe private release we need to just copy this into private folder because it, it was not able to find this file so let's run this again run this again we can see that it it's run it's running correctly now so they found the fix for this uh, issue on again on the cafe page on github page so what we need to do is just to uh, check if it is uh, if self dot net self is empty we just need to check if it is a valid handle so you can just say self dot and that's all we need so now let's see if it runs successfully now this time i think there is there are no uh, issues it was just a warning which was just anyway um let me know if you are able to uh, successfully compile it this time uh, i'm sure it should be it shouldn't be uh difficult but thanks for watching uh see you soon